Have you received one of them flashlights and you get it in the mail and you look at it, you've had it for about a month and all of a sudden you're, oh my God, what a piece of junk. Oh, this is crap. Oh, I got screwed. Oh, I shouldn't have bought a piece of junk from China. Wake up, people. I'll explain more after this. I'm Rick and this... <laughs> the heck up you stinking boosters. Now that for your sanity! <laughs> this is the shack. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna probably get on the shit list from some people, but that's okay. Everybody, welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about good old American ingenuity. Yeah, there's been a flashlight that kind of surged a couple years back, and everybody was like, oh, this, this is the, the best thing since mom's apple pie. I got my two cents I'm putting in, because I went on somebody's YouTube channel, and they were really pushing this, and I kind of liked the person. I'm not going to tell you anything about him. They are geared towards 2A. So that was a big thing for me. And I, I followed them for a little bit and then they popped up with this, pushing this flashlight. You know, it's, oh my gosh, this is great. This is whatever, you know, just raved about it. And I kind of went on and said, you know, there are art alternatives. You should give American brands a chance before you start pushing something like this. After all, if you're real 2A, advocate then you're really for America in the Constitution so let's push some of the American stuff not the Chinese stuff talk about getting my ass reamed left right here to Hong Kong and back yeah needless to say I just bit my tongue kept my mouth shut I was going to get in that because that just proved who they really were like mm-hmm now I know your true colors and you're not the type of person I want to follow so I am here to show you something because if I'm going to talk the walk, I better damn well be ready to walk the walk. And I am here to walk that badass walk American style. I'm talking about this piece of junk, old crappy light from China. I don't care who out there says these are great, these are fantastic. I have had nothing but crap. I thought I would try these and give them a shot. Not everything is bad. These salesmen, and that's all they are. They're promoting the product, they make a buck. Because when I called, <laughs> yeah, that, that's like, really? That's how you're gonna treat me and talk to me about your product? That just speaks volumes about this company. So this is one of these, everyone raised my, oh my God, they're the greatest thing, and this is the Olight Warrior Mini. Mm -hmm. Well, it's okay. Kind of small. I don't, don't care about that when I'm carrying a tactical style light. When I carry my EDC, that's my main thing. I want a quality tactical light. So I thought I'd give it a shot. The main reason I bought it because the back here, click on, click off. This is how you, you can hold it tactically. If you have your firearm, you're ready. You got it clicked back here. You can turn it on, turn it off, throw it, whatever. I walk out to my shop a couple times a night sometimes. So I always have my flashlight because mainly sometimes my dogs like to sneak up on me. It scares me, so I like to get the jump on them. It's like a game. Um, got rabbits running around, so sometimes I'll walk, I'll walk out, click on, see I, I know the areas are at, and I just kind of watch them, see where that. I like wildlife around my property. That's why I can't wait to move. I say I use my flashlight at least five times a week at night, a couple times at night walking back and forth because I turn it on come out here turn it on go back in sometimes I turn on the house I'm trying to look behind something so I use my flashlight often it doesn't just sit not even two months went by the back button went out called them on it I said I need this replaced repaired I said but technically if this is going to be an issue I really just want my money back I don't care for it I, don't, I really don't like it now well do you try the top button 
I didn't buy it for the damn top button. I bought it for the tactical style, so I click it on and off. This goes out, all I'm left with this, that's not what I want. Because I'm just gonna hold like this. Oh wait, no, hold on guy, don't shoot me. Let, me, let me turn my light on. Okay, now let's go, no. I want it here so I can be ready and go if I need to be in this in instant. That's what I want. How dare her ask me if I, if I, I can use this. I don't care. I bought it because I want that. Sent it in. Okay, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. You got one. <laughs> Three weeks, called them back. Where in the hell is my light? How long are you guys going to keep it? This, I use my light a lot. I need it. Oh, we're going to set down a new one. Finally got a new one. Different serial number, everything. Called them back. How is this going to work? Does my warranty start all over with a new one? No. It starts with the old ones. You only got one year warranty. Oh, you're going to be that way about it. Every damn time this thing goes out, I'm calling you up and get a new one for the first full year. And after that, when it goes out, it's going to the range and it's going to be target practice. Piss me off. That's crappy, crappy service and they don't stand behind their product. This, no. <laughs> get what you get. We'll give it to you a few times in a year and we're done. So that was number two. That went out. Got another one. This is number three. Today, look. Son of a bitch went out again. Today, I can't get the tail light to switch. Okay. It's not working. It's not working. I can't get the stupid thing turned on. Cool. The, this here goes on. The damn tail light went out again. I am pissed. Three of them now. And I think I have to go back and look at my warranty or when I originally purchased this. I'm getting close to my one year. Every couple of months, it's gone out. These are pieces of crap. China knockoff crap. Oh, light, I don't care what anybody raves about you. You're junk. I'm glad I only got the one, so I'm warning people, don't take their sales, don't take their advertising scheme. It's junk. I don't care if this still works. I didn't buy it for the button. I bought it for the tactical back, and it's useless. It went out again. Yeah, it won't work. Absolute junk. I have a flashlight that I've had for, oh, 20, 25 years, easy. These are an American icon in my eyes. Maglite, baby. That is American made 100% in Ontario, of all places, California. Believe it or not, they actually do have some good things that come out of here. But I am surprised. I would have hoped Maglite would have left California and gone someplace better so they could bring the price down a little bit instead of paying these ridiculous prices they have to pay in California. They could go somewhere else, much cheaper, cheaper cost for living, cheaper taxes, cheaper overall for the business, and they could get the prices down on these a little bit. But I got one here that I absolutely am in love with. And I've actually bought another one. They have a more tactical. This is one I keep around the house for the wife and everybody. That's one I walk back and forth out of the house with. But I got another one I'm going to use for an EDC. So I'm going to reposition the camera. I'm going to show you everything that comes in this, kind of go through it. You cannot tell me there's nothing American made that will compete with this. You can keep these old pieces of junk. I don't want anything to do with them. And I am keeping and staying with my mag. I kind of like that word mag, mag, magalite. Oh yeah, you gotta love America. Let me readjust the camera and I'm gonna show you exactly what I got. And we'll compare China knockoff junk to true American ingenuity. This is the MagTac LED rechargeable system, model TRM1 RA4. What comes in this kit, as you see, you have of course your flashlight, a docking station, which I'll demonstrate real quickly. It's pretty cool. You can mount it this way. You can even mount it on the ceiling if you want, but it will fall out if you shake it. I'm just saying, it's pretty cool. It actually holds in there. I think most people might choose to possibly mount this to a toolbox, especially mechanics guys. That way you can grab it, got something to look at, put it back in, stays charged. So you have the docking station. You have your USB charge cable. You have the wall charger adapter. You have a car charger adapter, so you can charge it on the go if you're on the road, need be. You have a clip, and as much as 
again, not every brand is perfect. Um, Mag, I think you kind of cheap on this. Um, it's plastic, not a fan of. I think a metal one would have been much, much better. I like metal. I'm not a plastic person. You have this little, I don't know what you call it, a little screwdriver type, but it's got a hexed key on the tip of it. And this little plastic piece is actually a little tool. And I'll show you what that is in just a moment. You have your instruction manual and you have a little sheet here. It's got kind of like the breakdown. So I'll go through these real quick. I mine I've already used, I've already had it. So that's why I'm doing this now. I like to use things before I tell you about them. One click and hold, the light stays on. So if you're out running around doing something, you hear something, you grab it, look real quick. Then you just let it off. Okay, no big deal. If you push hold, then click real quick, stays on, or two clicks, stays on. Three clicks will bring it to a power saving mode so you can use it longer, basically as a basic flashlight. So one, two, three, you see how low it is. I'll shut it off, turn it on, see how low that is. Look how bright this next one is. Big difference. Power saving mode. Four clicks, strobe light. Super simple, super easy. Those are your basics. So I'm gonna go through as you would when you first receive this, setting this thing up. You see this little white dot right there? That is between your contact points here on the tail cap. It's right down in here, protecting the battery so it does not contact the battery. So once you take that out, your flashlight then becomes functional. Now, if you want to use a clip, which most people would, and I do, because I kind of clip it on my belt when I walk in and out of the shop, because I use this a lot coming out here in the evening and stuff, slide it on, and there's a reason. You see how smooth it is, this barrel here, then it gets to this knurling area. You slide this on all the way until it touches that. Actually, I just kind of go just maybe a 30 second, just off a little bit. Just give it a little bit of a gap. You take this, and this little screw that's in here is kind of like a Almost, to my, it kind of reminds me of somewhere along the line as a cam, how it lobes over. So you turn this, you feel it get tight, you continue, you won't break it, continue, and all of a sudden it'll just feel like it lobes over. It's kind of like oblonged or something. So it lobes over and it locks. So now that won't slide off. So to unloosen it, you just reverse it like you're unloosing it, it'll lobe back over and you can slide it off. Now connect your tail switch and you're good to go. The reason this needs to go all the way down is because of the docking station. You see this little notch right there. You put this in right there. The clip hits, wasn't, doesn't allow this to seat properly. You turn it, got that little notch there, goes all the way down, not seated properly, and now it will charge. I'm gonna plug this in real quick, use our adapter, plug it in. Plug in the USB, and then we'll take that out for now. Uh, let me see, where is that right there? Plug this in. Light is flashing green. If you set it in here, nothing. That's why you said you have to find that little notch, turn it, slice all the way down. Now you see it's red. It is charging. Take it out, put it in, it's green because it's not going all the way down. Turn it till that clip hits this notch. Now it seats properly and it can charge. Now this piece, if you need to, for some reason, replace a rechargeable battery, you take off the tail cap. This acts like a wrench. It has like an octagon shape here, which fits that down there, a little black thing. You see the silver, that's your battery. This fits in between that, find it. Now, right there, it seats you spin this, it'll loosen that up, take it out. You can drop the rechargeable battery out, replace a new one. Use this, screw it back in, tighten it up, and you're good to go. So you need to keep that, you need to keep this. Put them in a little baggie, put them in desk or drawer in your toolbox something. Mark on there, mag light repair or mag light maintenance. Don't lose those two pieces. So we can screw this back in. Now we're ready to go. We have our clip, it's fully functional ready to use. So I'm going to take you outside and we're going to compare the two. 
See the difference. Wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. Manly, manly, manly. Oh, yeah. That's the way I look at it. You can't beat American. As much as you want to rave how great these are, for the price, I'm buying this all day long. So you see them side by side. Difference, bigger, much manlier, a damp, definitely good light switch. Boom, done. This is just whatever. This, I said I bought it because I want tact. Don't use, doesn't work. You have to use the side. So it's staying in the house for my wife, just for whatever. It's just useless to me. And if you think about it, Mag has always been like the leader as far as the switch. These are the Mag lights I have had for 20 plus years. No lie, 20 plus years. 20 some years old, and the only thing wrong is the rubber finally gave away on this button. That button has probably been pushed thousands of times. This piece of shit, you're lucky a couple hundred times and it went out. American again, China crap. So we're gonna go outside. I'm gonna show you the difference between these two and this, I didn't even realize until I got this, this has got a weak yellow tinge to it. Yeah, yeah it's just inferior. What, are you, what else are you gonna say? It's just inferior. Let's get out there, I'll show you that real quick, then we'll come back and finish this up. See them side by side, can you see that? The one here is more yellow looking. That's the China crap. Good American, nice and white. Look at that. So much different. And this, that's the brightest setting. I'll, I'll, let me hold this up again. Low setting, brightest setting. That's the brightest. Now, Mag light. Look how much brighter that is. Putting that Chinese in wonton soup, man, ain't no good at all. Look at that. Look at that. This is the full brightness of the a little <laughs> wannabe. Look at that. Unbelievable. Now that's an American light right there. Nice and bright. Well, I think that pretty much speaks for itself. There is no denying that the mag light is the supreme winner. A much better feel in the hand. It's got a good mass to it. It doesn't feel small and wimpy. It feels like a manly light. <laughs> Love it. And the switch here, there is a lot of travel where this is barely touch boom. I mean, it is right there. That is quality. That is something you don't want to have to have to depress deep, very deeply when you're in a tactical situation. You want to be able boom, 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 boom. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I actually like that a lot. That is damn cool. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Absolutely love it. No competition in my mind. You buy yourself a mag light and you're never going to have the O's again because there is no O in mag. Or MAGA. <laughs> that is it on this video. Thank you so much for watching. Be blessed. Take back your shack. Build it for your sanity. Never forget. Keep America strong. Always try to find American made first. We will see you next video.